What's up? I'm Van, and today I want to show how to do polynomial long division. We're going to go through these four examples. Here are some steps, and let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is we want to write the polynomial inside this space here. So we have x to the third, and notice we don't have an x squared term. So I do have the option of writing 0x squared, but I don't have to do that with polynomial division. So this is just optional. And then we have minus 4x, and then we have plus 6. So then on the outside, we're dividing by x plus 3. And when you divide by x plus 3, what you want to do is you're going to divide the leading terms first. So that's the first step, is to divide. And x to the third over x is going to make x squared. And now next you multiply. x squared times x is x to the third. 3 times x squared is 3x squared. And now the next thing you do is subtract. But you have to watch out. There's a very common trap here. What people will do by mistake is they're just going to wind up subtracting x to the third, and then they're going to do 0 plus 3 is 3x squared. But be careful. This is a very dangerous bear trap. So look out for this. You've got to be very careful when you do these questions. When you have 3x squared over here and you're subtracting all of this, just know you're subtracting a polynomial. So you could use a technique called keep, change, change. So I keep this part. I change the operation to addition, and then I change the sign of everything on the inside. So now we have x to the third minus x to the third. That's just going to cancel. And now we have, in a way, it's like we have 0 plus negative 3. So now we're going to have negative 3x squared like this. And now we could drag down the minus 4x. And now the process repeats all over again. So we start this over, except now our leading term is minus 3x squared. And we're still dividing by the leading term x. So negative 3x squared divided by x is minus 3x. And now Next, after we divide, we multiply. Negative 3x times x is negative 3x squared. Negative 3x times 3 is minus 9x. And then after you multiply, you subtract. But be careful. Make sure you put the polynomial in parentheses before you subtract. And now, just know the technique. You have keep, change, change. So we could change the operation to addition, and then we change the sign of everything on the inside. And now, this is going to cancel. You have negative 4x plus 9x is going to make 5x. And now, we just drag down the 6. So we have plus 6, and now from here, we're doing 5x divided by x, and 5x divided by x is going to give us 5. So we have plus 5, and now 5 times x is 5x, 5 times 3 is 15. So we're subtracting, but remember, when you're subtracting a polynomial, you change the operation to addition, and you switch the sign of everything on the inside. So we have 5x plus negative 5x canceling. And then 6 plus negative 15 is negative 9. This is our remainder because notice we brought down the last term. So what we could say is plus 9 over, or you could just say minus 9 over. And we're dividing by x plus 3, so our divisor is going to go underneath the remainder like this. So if we want to write our answer formally off to the side, we have x squared minus 3x plus 5, and then we have minus 9 over x plus 3. So question two, now we're taking 3x to the third, minus 5x squared, plus 10x, minus 3, and this is being divided by 3x plus 1. So we're just going through these steps again. We're dividing the leading terms, and 3x to the third over 3x will make x squared. Then we multiply. So we multiply this out. We have 3x to the third, and then x squared times 1 will make x squared. And after you do a lot of these examples, notice when we subtract our polynomial, we said we're going to change the operation to addition and change the sign of everything. At this line, you could skip this part and just write minus 3x to the third and minus x squared. Just after you multiply, just switch the sign and write it. So as you get really skilled at these, you can speed up, but it does help to be systematic so you're less likely to make a mistake. Now here you have negative 5x squared plus minus 1x squared will make negative 6 x squared, you bring down the 10x. And then from this step here, we're dividing the new coefficient. So we're dividing, we have negative 6x squared divided by 3x. And that's going to make minus 2x. Now minus 2x times 3x is minus 6x squared. Then we have minus 2x times 1 is minus 2x. And remember, we're subtracting next. But when we subtract, we change the operation to addition. And we change the sign of everything on the inside. And now these are going to cancel. And then 10x plus 2x is going to make 12x. So next up here, we're bringing down this minus 3. And now we're dividing what we have. We have 12x divided by 3x. That's going to give us plus 4. And now when we multiply, we have 4 times 3x is 12x. And then we have 4 times 1 is 4. And we're subtracting this. So once again, the operation changes to addition. And then we flip the sign of everything on the inside. So 12x plus negative 12x cancels. And then we have negative 3 plus negative 4 which makes negative 7. So that's our remainder, since that was from our last term. So now we're going to have minus 7 over 
and we have 3x plus 1. Now, just note, if you did have to check your work to this, checking this is not necessarily simple algebra. You have to be a little bit careful. If you want to see that this thing divided by this thing is equal to this thing, what you could do to check your answer is you could take 3x plus 1 and you could multiply it by, I'm going to put a bracket here, you can multiply it by x squared minus 2x plus 4, and then I'm going to group those together and write the minus 7 over 3x plus 1 on the outside, and then we'll close our bracket. So let me just make this a little bit neater here. So we have our plus 1, and then our bracket is going out here like this, just so that it stays on the screen here. But now what we do is we distribute, and once we distribute, we're going to get 3x plus 1 times we have x squared minus 2x plus 4. And then we have minus, because we're doing 3x plus 1 times this fraction, which we're going to have 7 on top, and then we're going to have 3x plus 1 on top after we multiply by this over 3x plus 1. Now these are going to cancel. Now this part I'll go through fast. So now we get to this stage here, we just have to combine like terms. Notice there's only a single x to the third term, and it's 3x to the third. And then here we would have negative 6x squared plus 1x squared makes negative 5x squared. We have 12x minus 2x making plus 10x, and then 4 minus 7 makes minus 3. So notice this checks out, it matches what we started with. So now let's look at examples where we divide by nonlinear factors, something like x squared plus x. So we're going to write this off to the side. We have 3x to the third, we have plus 11x squared, we have plus 4x, and then we tack on our plus 1. And then on the outside, we have x squared plus x. So if you look at our leading terms here, 3x to the third over x squared is going to make 3x. And now we're going to have 3x to the third, and we have plus 3x squared. And when we subtract, we're going to change this operation to addition and flip the sign of everything on the inside. So now these are going to cancel. You have 11. So we have 11 plus negative 3 is going to make 8x squared. And now we bring down the 4x. And then we start this process all over. Remember, we divide, multiply, subtract, and then repeat until you run out of stuff. So then here, next up, we have 8x squared divided by x squared. And when we do this part here, we're going to have just plus 8. Okay, so we're doing 8x squared over x squared is 8, and now we divide it, we multiply. So we have 8 times x squared is 8x squared, and then 8 times x is 8x, and then we subtract. So operation changes to addition, flip the sign of everything on the inside. These terms will always cancel because we selected it that way. And then we have 4x plus negative 8x makes negative 4x. And then we're going to drag down the 1. And from this step here, notice we can't divide anymore. So the x squared is not going to go into the x term. So as it turns out, this is going to be our remainder. So we have plus, and then our remainder is negative 4x plus 1 over, and we're dividing by x squared plus x. So this stuff over here represents our quotient. Okay, this last question is a B, so let's do our best to stay organized. We've got x to the fifth, and then we've got no x to the four term. So we can write a 0x to the four just as a placeholder, and then we've got minus 4x to the third. We've got an x squared term. We have technically a 0x term, since there is no x term in the first part, and then we have a minus 4 at the end. And this time we're dividing by a trinomial. So we're dividing by x squared minus x plus 1. So for this one, we just have to be very, very organized when we do this. And now moving forward, we're going to divide first. So we're dividing the leading terms and we've got x to the third. And now we multiply, giving us x to the fifth. Then we have minus x to the four. And then we have plus x to the third. And we're subtracting this. But remember, when you subtract polynomials, you have to remember to distribute. So we keep this first part, we change the operation to addition, and then we change the sign of everything on the inside like this. And now when we simplify, these terms are going to cancel. We have 0x to the 4 plus 1x to the 4 which makes x to the 4, and we've got negative 4x to the 3rd plus minus x to the 3rd, which will make minus 5x to the 3rd. And now we could drag down the next term, so we have our x squared here. So now the process continues. We're doing x to the 4 divided by x squared, and that's going to give us x squared. And then we multiply, so we have x to the 4, and then we do x squared times minus x, that's minus x to the 3rd, and then x squared times 1 is x squared. And now we subtract this. So once again, the operation changes to addition and we flip the sign of everything on the inside. And now we combine. These terms cancel. We have minus 5x to the third plus x to the third, making minus 4x to the third. 
and then we have x squared plus negative x squared, which cancels. So technically there's a zero x squared here, which I'll just leave as a placeholder for the next round. And now from this part, we could also drag down our plus zero x. And now we're dividing once again. So we're doing negative four x to the third divided by x squared, that's minus four x. So now we take our minus four x and we multiply. So we're gonna have minus four x to the third. And then we have minus four x times minus x, which makes plus four x squared. And then we have minus four x times one, which makes minus four x. So now we are subtracting this. So the operation is gonna to change to addition. And then we flip the sign of everything on the inside. And now these terms cancel. We have zero x squared minus four x squared, which makes minus four x squared. And then we have zero x plus four x, which will make plus four x. And now the process repeats. We're doing negative four x squared divided by x squared is minus four. And now notice here when we multiply negative four times x squared is negative four x squared. Then we have negative four times minus x, which makes plus four x. Uh, but notice one thing, this minus four had to come down. So the minus four, remember we have to keep bringing stuff down to the next line. So the minus four pops down here. And then if we finish distributing, we had negative four times negative x was plus four x. But now negative four times one is minus four. And check it out, these all match. So when we subtract here, remember operation changes to addition and we flip the sign of everything on the inside, but notice these are all matching opposite and we have a remainder of zero. So the conclusion we can draw here is that these polynomials divide evenly and this is gonna be equal to x to the third plus x squared minus four x minus four.